There are several functions built into MATLAB that specialize in dealing with audio files. These functions will allow us to do the basic and essential things. One of these functions is called audio read. Its purpose is to allow us to read in audio information into MATLAB. Therefore, inside of our code or inside of our program, we can call this function and tell MATLAB the name of a file that's stored on our hard drive that's been previously recorded. We can read in the information from that file into memory inside of MATLAB. When we use this function, it will return for us the samples that are stored in the signal, and it will also give us some other information, like what's the sampling rate of the file. Let's take a closer look at how to use audio read. Here's an example of how to use the audio read function. The idea is so that we've got a sound file that's saved and stored on our computer's hard drive. What we like to do is import that file into MATLAB or load it into memory within MATLAB so that we can write some code to work with this file. As an example, I've got a file already saved over here and it exists in the desktop folder of my hard drive. This is the acoustic guitar.wave file. I'll play it back so you can listen to it. Here you can see some information about the file. Its length, the sampling rate of 44,100, and the bit depth of 16. One thing you can do to make this more convenient to work with these sound files is to copy this file and put it in the current folder of MATLAB. So when we use these functions, MATLAB is first going to search for a file within the current folder. The current folder here is the Documents MATLAB folder. So I'll make a copy of this file. I'm going to make a duplicate and put it in this current folder, Documents MATLAB. Right now it's empty. When I go to paste it, you'll see in MATLAB that it shows up over here. It says this is a file that it was able to find. Next, I can just use the command over here to actually import the information from this file. So I'm going to use the function audio read and then in parentheses put in the input variable to this function. The input variable here is text. It's a string for the name of the file. So within single quotations I'm going to put acoustic gtr.wave. But you could do this with any other sound file that you've got on your hard drive. Just find it wherever it's at and put it in the current folder. Put a semicolon at the end. With this function, when we call it, it's going to return for us a couple things. The first thing it's going to return for us is the actual samples contained in the sound file. So I'm going to assign this one to an arbitrary uh, variable called y. But you can name it whatever you like. And I'd encourage you to give it a name that actually has meaning. Next. It can also read in, if we like, the sampling rate of this. Remember we looked at it before, it was 44.1. So now I can call this function and it will assign those two things. The array of samples will go in Y and the sampling rate, which is just a number, will go in FS. Now if I were to look at what value is stored in FS, I can see that the sampling rate is 44,100. Then I can also look at the array of samples. Over here in workspace, we can see that this variable is a column vector, has over 300,000 samples in it. So if I call Y and print it out, it will show me all the values and samples stored in this array. So this is actually kind of a difficult way to look at what's going on in my signal. Another thing that we could do, let me clear this off, is we can plot the array. This is a common way to visualize the information stored in a signal. So here, now we've got the waveform being displayed. Again, this is amplitude, and for now, amplitude versus the sample number. So here's the different notes that are being played of the acoustic guitar part. So that's the basics of how to work with the audio read function. We've now been able to import the sound file into MATLAB and do some simple things like print the uh, values of the array and also plot it.